What is up, y'all? Happy Thursday. I hope y'all are doing well. Welcome back to another Adobe Live. My name is Idara Kwa. I'm going to be your host for today. And today we are joined by Izzy. And we have some exciting, exciting work today. Izzy is going to go ahead and teach us how we can design a poetry book with Adobe Firefly, as well as other Creative Cloud apps. So I'm really excited for this. But as always, before we hop into what we have planned for today, just want to say thank you all for joining. Please um, drop where you're joining from in the chat. It's always great to see where everybody is joining from. I am here in Arizona. Um, and also, and also, wait, actually, before we hop into this, Izzy, where are you joining from? Uh, from Ottawa, Canada. Oh, beautiful. I've yeah. never been to Canada. That's on my list, but I've never been. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> yes, we definitely will. Um, but yeah, drop where you're joining from in the chat. Say hello. And as always, thank you so much for joining us here at Adobe Live. Make sure that you join the Adobe Live community, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you follow us on Adobe Live on Instagram. That way you are up to date with the latest streams, updates, and more. And so let's go ahead and get started. Is I'm going to turn it over to you to give a little introduction of who you are, as well as what we will be covering for today. Well, hello, hello, everyone. This is not my first video, rodeo. Oh, my. <laughs> We're starting off really well. <laughs> it seems like it is my first rodeo, but it's not. I swear. I've been on here before. Um, I, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a host here. Uh, I also do some streaming like this. I uh, during the day, I have my own business, which is called IP Design, uh, where we do brand uh, strategy and branding identity. And at night, I actually run a community in my city. It's called the Ottawa Design Club, where we host speaker events and create multi-sensorial zines. We have, uh, yeah, it's like I fit the the creative the definition that I can't do something outside of creativity. Mm. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Awesome. So let's hop into the presentation. So yes. as I said, bonjour. I, I see, I really just wanted to show you those new headshots that I just got. So <laughs> <laughs> um, the project, yeah, we have like a packed day. So as you mentioned, today we will be designing a poetry book. We will be going into Adobe Firefly, Adobe uh, Photoshop Beta, and InDesign. So this is my mood board that I created for today. So essentially, um, I am no poet at all, but I wanted to take a stab at this because I think poetry books are so cool and they're such a great resource for inspiration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually asked like an uh, AI gener generated app to create some poetry for today. So uh, oh. we'll uh, like just like check that really quickly, but that's the text that we will be working on today. And I, the poems are all about color. Um, and basically it's like if you were living in a house of color and each color has its own personality and that's what uh, I'd like to go and fetch from each photo that we will be creating in Adobe Firefly. So this is, the, oh, sorry, you were going to say something. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, I'm just so excited. I love color. So I'm really excited to see all this come together. Uh, but real quickly, I, I forgot to mention, if y'all have any questions during this live, please drop them in the chat. That way I can make sure to ask them so Izzy can answer. We could just keep this as engaging as it could possibly be. I'm sure y'all will have a lot of questions. So drop them in the chat and I will make sure we address them. There you go. So I did a bit of uh, like executive decisions to get the design going. So this is the font that we will be working with today. I wanted to have a nice serif font just to have kind of that like, I don't know, old, not typewriter, but Times New Roman vibe, but still mm -hmm. modern. Um, so awesome serif is what we'll be like are for headers. We won't be using it that much though. And Elza text, which is my favorite, favorite Adobe font ever. I use it for everything. <laughs> for the core text. Um, these are some poems, um, which I've already, because in order to prep for this, like kind of laid out. And, um, but here I have some poems that need to be laid out. So uh, Adara, Idara, I was wondering, which one do you want me to read just to get into the groove? Uh, um, Green, that's one of my favorite colors. Love it. It's actually the, the, 
It's the best one too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in a house of green where nature dances, a vibrant heaven, sorry, heaven <laughs> where joy enhances with lush foliage and flourishing grace in this green sanctuary worries erase from emerald meadow to leafy embrace the house of green exudes tranquil space where serenity dwells calmness thrives in this verdant home harmony arrives so good for ai like generated uh -huh. stuff it's like <laughs> honestly <laughs> nature's palette paint a vibrant scene shades of green lively and serene a symphony of hues a calming balm in the house of green nature's sweet charm so step inside let nature unfurl i don't know what that word means <laughs> <laughs> i don't either <laughs> in the house of green a tranquil world where worries fade and joy takes flight in this enchanting heaven bathed in green light hmm. it could be tidied up a little bit but since i have no copywriter or poetry skills this is like really good to be <laughs> working with today <laughs> so i guess because you picked that one that's the one that we will be working on uh today so let's hop in adobe firefly right away so for those of you i'm pretty sure Either you're new to Adobe Firefly or you have been uh, diving into it like crazy like I have, you will want to go, I'll do that again, into the text to image generate. You'll see a bar at the bottom. Just want to, okay, yeah, we do see it. And you'll just start writing like what, what you would like to see. So we're trying to get a photorealistic uh, finish like this. So what I have noticed with prompts is you need to have that like special like special word not special word or just specification to say that you want it to look realistic so that's mm -hmm. how i actually realistic that's how i start with everything right mm -hmm. and now we actually want a greenhouse but the cool stuff um with this is that we can actually take some words to inspire our prompts like from the poetry so here in a house of green, I mean, we could say a greenhouse. So realistic greenhouse with leafy garden. Mm. And we said there was like a light, a green light. We'll say a sunbeam, sunbeam. Generate, and then we'll see what happens. Ooh, I can't wait. While well, we wait, we do a little and dance. <laughs> a little. Oh, this is so cute. This is good. I like this because yeah. it's like a greenhouse within a greenhouse within the tiny greenhouse yes. here. <laughs> if I click on it, we can see it. Like, you can oh. see. Yeah, this yes. is beautiful. That is beautiful. I still want it to look a bit more photorealistic. This is a mm. bit painterly for me. But you know what? It's because I have the art button that is selected here. So let me click on photo. And I already know that my book will be portrait. So I'm going to actually select the portrait mode Perfect. here. And we'll see. We should have a mini dance while I we know, wait for a like, little, <laughs> like little, doo, a little doo, shimmy. Doo, doo. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. But to me, the sunbeam is a, that's yeah. what is giving it away that it's not necessarily real. So yeah. I'm going to remove that. Sometimes I like to say like ultra realistic to see mm. what happens. And sometimes I just generate, generate, generate until I find something that I really like. Really like, exactly. Mm -hmm. Gotta play around and tweak with it a bit. There oh. we go. Okay, these are more realistic. Like, yes. I mean, do you have a favorite in in all of these? <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't They're know. They're so great. They're all so great. I feel like <laughs> I really love the last two. These this two? This beautiful, yeah. This one? Yeah, this one looks like a lavish greenhouse where mm -hmm. you that's that's a restaurant it definitely is <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm gonna download that perfect 
Now, I know that I actually want multiple images to be in, in the, the poetry. I, I'm not going to have the full poem on one page. I'm going to break it up on multiple pages. Okay. So I, I will actually download more than one. The ones that we really like. I actually mm -hmm. like really I like, like that. This. That first one is nice yes. too. Yeah. They're all nice. <laughs> They're all super nice. Yes. Oh, I, love it. I love how we can just get lost into Adobe Firefly like this mm -hmm. and just dream. Yeah. It really your your oh. possibilities are endless. These are beautiful. Beautiful. And I love how different different they are from the last mm -hmm. set of images They're, that were generated. I really like this. And what I also like is that. I didn't have to put that much information, mm -hmm. like prompts for, to, to get to this result. And this is exactly. the exact result that I wanted. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. So um, now we have six images, perfect. Now let's go into Photoshop beta, open them. And I'm sorry, I have a crazy, mm -hmm. like, I need to clean my download folder. <laughs> you and me both, girl. You and me both. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So this is quite good. Sometimes I'm just curious to see, like, I'll use the crop um, function just to make it a little wider. And I know this is kind of a square now, but I also, oops, I also want to add maybe like more room at the top and i'm just going to fill fill this so i have the lasso tool that i selected i can that's actually too too quick uh too not too, too close i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna say sky with uh let's see tree We'll see what, what happens with this. Because it should recognize that there's some Tree leaves. There, like, yeah. yeah. It's always game. like guessing game. As I was just going to say, it's like a fun guessing game. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Like, that's wow. like, I'm always impressed with how smart it is. Like, even so, you can actually click on the arrows here to find mm. other. This is actually the best for me. Yeah. Because it did fill it, it, this it area. Fill the other side. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes what I even do, like to fill in this uh, white space. Oops, sorry. My keyboard is in the way. I'm going to start that over. And sometimes I actually don't write anything. I just do generate to see if it will understand yeah. what it is. Sometimes I have some tricky results. Mm -hmm. But if I do it again, then it gets it right. Oh. And I mean, wow. No, this is, this is, this is right. <laughs> that was actually like a really like authentic shot. <laughs> like this, I like, was, like <laughs> I was like, let's see if it's going to, go. oh, wow. No, this is amazing. Oh, I like this. Yeah, this, this one is beautiful. This is beautiful. Perfect. So as you can see, every time you add a, a generate fill here, you have some layers. So you can always go back and if you want to merge them and just make sure that they're stitched properly together, mm -hmm. you have a lot of leeway. Have yep. you played in the, uh, a lot? I mean, you're a photographer. Yes. So. Yeah, I've been playing with it, but I've been playing it with um, like portraits, like obviously extending backgrounds if like there's grass mm -hmm. and I want to expand it out the sky. Um, I want to shoot, I've been seeing some people do it like, oh, maybe their subject has a dress and they want the dress to be like long and flowy. So then they'll ask AI to make it a long and flowy dress. And like, it's just mm. so crazy to see what you can do. But um, I'm playing around with it, with portraiture for sure. That's great. Like, so how is it with um, like, let's say someone asks you to like give them long hair or something that is very personal. Like, mm -hmm. do you, is it like, have you played around with that I've a little bit? I've not played around with that at all. <laughs> so I've not <laughs> played around with like adding hair or maybe eyelashes or different things mm -hmm. like that. Um, I think that'll be really, really curious, especially because a lot of my portraits, I do like full body portraits, but a lot of them are up close face. And so I'd be interested to see what AI would do with that. So maybe I, I'll, I'll do that on my next project. I have a shoot this weekend, so maybe I'll play around with it. There you bit. go. So <laughs> see here, I just did like, just to feel I didn't write anything. 
And it kind of gave me like a, a, a funny result, but then I click next and then that's perfect. <laughs> yep, beautiful. Oh, so I love it. It's great. Okay. And then I have a question for you. We already have yes. a question in the chat. Um, will your poetry book be printed and are these images okay for printing as they are not high res yet? So I was thinking because this is a fun, like personal project, I was thinking more of a digital book and maybe just a nice portfolio uh, piece to just show to um, my potential clients and my audience that, hey, like I, I know how to get around in, in AI. Um, here's what I can do with it um, and hopefully inspire what I have been using uh firefly for is actually generating some food a lot of food images like mm. put photography for my clients in the brand guidelines to say this is the type of photography you should aim for mm -hmm. because there's only so much stock photography that get has the right vibe specifically mm -hmm. for businesses that are trying to truly differentiate um so then you can really have fun with that um yeah. i've made some crazy scones <laughs> Yeah, which was yeah. amazing oh i love but yeah just like wade mentioned um adobe firefly is for non-commercial use um mm -hmm. only while it's in beta so like what you had mentioned of like doing it for your portfolio just so people could see what you can do with ai could be really great that's it uh mood boards too mood board. um, oh mood boards especially mood boards, yeah yes yeah i've been using it for mood boards like with the shoot that i have upcoming it's really nice because I don't have to rely on what I'm seeing or what I have to create as my own inspiration. I can just type in some words and see, you know, what could come up and, and get some inspiration from that. So I really have loved it for mood boards. That's exactly it. That's great. Me too. Okay. So now I'm doing something a little tricky here because I want to have more and I didn't like select it properly. But I want to have more of this image extended on the side where there's the watermark and i'll show you how to stay up to code even if the watermark gets removed in your your image um hold on i'm gonna select that a little better i'm just gonna do again generate just to see this is like lazy uh mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm just like clicking on it i know <laughs> So okay. it's it's cool that it understood that there was a watermark here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hold on, I'm just going to go here and I'm going to say my keyboard because I have my mic in front of me and my keyboard. <laughs> oh, um, okay. like it's like my mouse is like not is not happy right now. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, it's it's like it's like <laughs> It's trying to, I'm going to have to do, there you go. <laughs> this is the oh. best. So we'll say add plants, uh, in, um, uh, in front view. Let's see what it does here. Let's see, let's see. Wow. Okay. So this is this works, but I wanted plants. More. So actually, this yeah. this was more my vibe. This is too blurry here it's for me. Bad. So, right, so this is like perfect. Okay, but now I actually lost a watermark, and we mm -hmm. don't want that, right? We want to stay up to code. So for that, I have a little fix. Um, so if we go into the text effect, mm -hmm. and we take any letter and we'll just do, we'll do I because it's for easy. <laughs> I love it. My favorite letter. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's I here. So there you go. Oh yeah. It's your, your, for, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do this. I'm just going to remove the background and then I'm going to download. I'm going to go back into Photoshop beta. Open and then I can crop this. Yep. And bring it back to just have to All find it. Images. Yeah. 
Where is where's it? The, where's the image? <laughs> there you go. There we go. Okay. There you go. So there's mm -hmm. always a like a way to mm -hmm. follow the guidelines. Yes. Okay. You, gotta, you must keep the bottom watermarks on y'all. <laughs> yes. Correct. Um, and in the layout, you'll see, um, actually, we can hop into a bit of InDesign now and we can go back and forth as we want to add more, depending on like what, how much time we have. Um, but you'll see that sometimes depending on the framing of the image, mm -hmm. it will cut to like that watermark. Mm -hmm. But in order to, and I, I'll show you exactly what I've done. Uh oh, you get, you get a preview already. <laughs> But I have added in the first page of the book, like a disclaimer saying that all of the images are AI like generated and with this watermark added mm -hmm. here too, just to be safe. It would be added in the description too, if I have it up on my portfolio, like again, <laughs> mm -hmm. follow the guidelines, copyright. You don't want to have copyright infringement issues. Yes, not at all. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we are looking at the document that is empty. For, for those of you who are maybe new into editorial, um, you can choose whatever size that you want. For this here, I, I decided to have it nine six by nine inches. Um, make sure it's facing pages. I can actually kind of show you the document setup here. I have five pages. I wanted to have a margin to uh, play around with and mm -hmm. five columns. So columns, if you are new to them or even if you know about them, but you don't mm -hmm. use them, guilty sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they are so good to guide you specifically in edit, like editorial. It's very important mm -hmm. to have like, uh, like something to measure. And the more columns you have, the more flexibility you will have. You want mm -hmm. to make sure that everything lines up specifically when you're trying to create consistency. Yeah. So here, um, I have five columns which is technically 10 for the full layout. Okay. Yep. So it looks like this. So whenever I'm setting up my file here, I want to go into the layers. So obviously I'll be working on the first layer here for all of the design, but I do want to have my pages number and maybe even another small disclaimer on top of everything that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to create a second layer. So this is like same as, uh, Photoshop and I'm going to call it page number and oops and more. And I'll make sure that I'm on here. And by the way, when I'm doing this, I'm actually, if you go to page, I'm at on the parent page mm -hmm. here. So I'm creating a master. So then it will be applied to all of the pages, um, like further along our, our, our project. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we have so much, you could cover so much today in this I've, like, like project. More than enough content for today. <laughs> oh yes. I'm always, and whenever I'm prepping for, for, um, like these, it's, I'm always like, but what if, but what if what? I, need, <laughs> I need to be ready? I, I always think about like the worst case scenario of yeah. what may happen then but then I have too much content. Exactly. You know, we <laughs> always mean, over prepare. <laughs> it, that, that's a good thing though. It's, it's, it, oh no, it definitely is. I'd rather, rather have more than less. Mm -hmm. So here I just put like uh, below my margin, a the page a number. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to type. I'm going to go to uh, insert special character. And then I have, sorry, is it? Yeah, markers. Oh, it's not highlighted. I need to make sure that the text is highlighted. Mm -hmm. Apologies, markers, current page number. And then it's going to change it to A, which means that it's going to be added on all the pages. So as you can oh, see perfect. here, if I go on the next one, five, and if I keep adding pages, it'll keep adding the numbers. It'll keep adding the numbers automatically. Perfect. So this is perfect. 
Uh, another thing that I wanted to do, maybe on the other side here, I want to have a small, just to say disclaimer. So these images were created in Adobe Firefly mm -hmm. and Photoshop Beta. Here I'm gonna go with the Elsa text. Gotta give credit where it's due. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, regular. And I'm gonna put it in a like gray. And it doesn't mean because it's locked that mm -hmm. you can't like unlock it elsewhere you can mm -hmm. i'll show you like that as we get there okay so now we are like somewhat set up um mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna kind of like do like a cooking show you know when you have kind of all your ingredients ready mm -hmm. and then it's like oh and then when you let it sit for three hours then this happens like for a <laughs> bread so let's let's just pretend that we have been sitting for three hours while the dough is raising for our bread, but instead yes. it's it's it's, it's, it's a, here. It's here. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> so here is kind of like the the what I have for us today. I wanted to make sure that we had executive decisions already to make sure that we have the proper time to mm -hmm. uh, look at Adobe Firefly and Photoshop better. So here, um, I showed you this already. So the, the, the title of this book is Ink and Pigment versus and Vibrant Hues. Mm. We have a somewhat finished table of content. This is how we introduce the color. So I thought it would be cool to, as text, to have just some color X's mm -hmm. here. And if you actually try them, these are all yellow. Are they then, yellows? Oh, sorry, are, did you pull those from the color of the photos that you included? Um, or were they just, are they just different shades of yellow that you pulled? There are different shades of yellow that I pulled because at the end of each chapter for the specific poem, I actually have all the name of the oh. hues that that we use for that color. Oh, I love it. So, <laughs> so here we have like lemon, canary, sunshine, banana, daisy, and it's all like stuff that we could say yellow. So it's like some of the hues that you find at the beginning here are oh, like amazing. mentioned like here here i love that yes so here actually i don't have the um mention of beta so i will go and add it in my master page right here and right now i'm working oh see it was here uh, i i had it in preview you can just click w to see like what it's going to look like kind of finished or like if you want to see your grids again then w mm -hmm. best trick ever mm -hmm. <laughs> so now i'm actually on the wrong layer so let me just go and fix that there you go this will be on top of everything then you can see what it does once we are there if we go back so see it's oh, been added like here and if i do my text is quite small so it's competing a little bit so i'm wondering if i could maybe do it in a different uh shade or but for now i'll leave it like that okay um okay so this is what we have. So as you can see, this is why we need more than one image for the house. Mm -hmm. And we break down every verse and we just kind of have fun. This is another reason why you want to have your um, columns, right? Yeah. Because then even if you're breaking it and it doesn't seem like it's organized, it technically is. Yep. <laughs> so let's go and create the green. I've done like a few just I love this I really like the pink the pink was a pink beach is house. My favorite. oh that's my favorite color is oh 
Pink is pink yeah. used to be a color I at growing up was like, Ugh, no, I'm not a girl that likes pink. And now in my adult life where I'm trying to embrace my inner child, I'm like, yeah, pink is that girl. It's just such a beautiful <laughs> color. Pink and green I love so much. Yeah, and they actually go really well together. Yes, they definitely do. So yes, see this, we have like the little mm -hmm. I actually want to hide it. But There you go. It's mentioned right here, yes. so it's okay. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, in in the poem too, there's kind of mentions of seashells and like uh, like pink uh, mm -hmm. like clouds. So this this vibe is perfect for for the pink. Yes, I love it. How did you, um, as we, I know we're moving into the green, but I have a question for you just yeah, from please. a design point of view. So for me as a photographer, I don't touch in design, but I've always wanted to play around with the idea of creating my own photo books. And I know there's templates to do all of that, but I like the control that you can have with InDesign to just create whatever you like. Something like how, what does your process start with? Like, how do you... How did you, mm. like, this is, this to me is beautiful. Like, I want this in my hand. <laughs> I love the way each <laughs> section is broken up, how, like, creatively everything is put together. How do you, Thank you. yes, come together, come up with your concepts and, and, and to come up with how you want to design, in this case, this poetry book? So it would be about the message, right? Like, mm -hmm. in this instance, um, I wanted to talk about color and then really showcase the the photography or images that mm -hmm. adobe firefly can do and i thought like oh it could be fun to make it as if you're living inside like a color mm -hmm. um so um like a house of color um and maybe this is my immersive person like i i love immersive experiences like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always like seeking that type of uh exhibition stuff like that mm -hmm. so maybe this is why I thought like this, yeah. <laughs> but it's the message. So from this, um, you're like, okay, this is what I'm trying to convey. This is what I want the reader who has the book in, in hand to have an impact. Like that's the yeah. impact that you want to leave. Absolutely. Um, I'm just going to put this to the side because it's not the right hue. Um, so from that, um, I mean, creating your, your uh, copy, I like mm -hmm. to have copy before, so then I know exactly mm -hmm. which image to um, put together. But then sometimes it's uh, like for you, for a photography book, um, it would be the other way around. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be like, do you have series that goes really well together yeah. that you can maybe, uh, you know, create a story around? Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, absolutely. This is, oh, I'm inspired. I might have to, I don't know about y'all, but I might have to download InDesign and play around with it a little bit yes. because I'm like, it's just so fun. It's like, it's, it's, it's just so nice to see one, how you generated the images and how oh. you, you, you utilize them in this book, but just how it's coming together. Oh, I love. It's tricky because this full stream could have been like a like a four day thing, like a pro tip almost. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I, I would I would have been in attendance. <laughs> so I want to show you something here. So I made my um like just my green like because I want to have it as an object. So I wrote mm -hmm. green. I put it in all caps, and then I do Shift Command O to outline. So it's quickly. So this becomes a vector, and then I can play easily with mm. it the only thing is that i can't if ever there's a mistake i can't change it got it but i like the flexibility so it fits perfectly in my column mm -hmm. as you can see if i like zoom in here mm -hmm. so here i'm just gonna do this in white and i have prepared for all the hues already Let's get started. I forgot this uh, slide. Mm -hmm. I have my. Oh no! You can't copy from this. Uh oh. No. It's okay. <laughs> that is totally okay because I have the presentation mm -hmm. right here. 
Ooh, and Car- uh, Carol just made a good po- comment of, uh, which I will be making note of, of to watch some of, to- some of Tony Harmer's streams. Um, he's a InDesign wizard, so I will be watching his InDesign stuff too because there I need a little go. inspo. I, I stay in the Photoshop Lightroom world and I'm trying to expand. There's just too much that <laughs> Adobe has to offer for me to just stay in Lightroom and Photoshop all the time. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like for me specifically, I started with Photoshop because mm-hmm. I I went I went to art school, so I didn't study design. I uh, uh, I studied visual arts and um, like painting and, and photography, actually. So mm-hmm. that's how uh, everything started for me. And then I, when I hopped into InDesign, I was like, wow, the logic is the same. So it's yeah. like, it will be probably easy for me to like learn design. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, it is. And I would say that InDesign is quite intuitive and it's crazy mm. the amount of stuff that you can do with it. Oh, I love. So I just want to make sure this looks good. It does. Sometimes I like to like go back. I mean, you can't see the text, but just like to zoom in even mm-hmm. with like my myself to see if it looks good. Mm-hmm. And then... Another trick that you can do, there's a there's a, some editorial um, lives that you see the full process. I, I could mm-hmm. have done this, uh, but I didn't want to spend too much time on it. Yeah. But you can literally just draft yourself like a an, an open um, like book if you want, like just mm-hmm. some, some rec- like rectangles and then just write down what you want and just map out, okay, this will be a big True. picture. This will be a small picture. Just so you have kind of an overall view yes, of what absolutely. everything is. Yeah. And the flow of everything. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we have the chapter page ready. Now it's time to bring in our images. So I'll do, I'll go here. I just place my image. Mm-hmm. Place, I'll do place. And then I'll bring in this. And I kind of like a good zoom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think it's great. Just, but I'll, maybe it was a little too zoom for me. This is good. So I feel mm-hmm. like we should put the images before and then add the text. Yeah. So let's do that. But as you can see here, I have some images that are in monotone, Mm -hmm. which really helps to kind of give that depth to the design. And we have not created those right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back in Photoshop beta. I'm going to do a duplicate. I just do two in front. <laughs> no fancy say, naming. Yeah. No, yeah, two. <laughs> like if you look, if you check my hard drives or check my computer, it's just like one, two, and then the, you know, the yes. name of the actual file. We don't have time for that. <laughs> Not exactly. But then you try to find stuff and you're like, it's, uh, it's a little difficult. Yes. It's a little hard. <laughs> so in order to achieve that monotone um, like effect, you would go to image mode and it, this is not necessarily intuitive if you've never done it before. So you need to mm-hmm. do like a grayscale just to remove all of the colors that's already there. Now we have a lot of layers. This is why it was important to do a duplicate here. So you do flatten, then it's in uh, grayscale. You go again, image mode, and then you do duotone. Then you can add as many colors as you mm-hmm. want. I just want one because again, we are featuring one color. Mm -hmm. So here I actually want green and we can just have fun and select a cool green. I feel like we need like forest green for it. And you can kind of see because it changes as your. Do you do this often in your photography? I don't. I don't. But now I'm like, I'm going to have to. This whole part, I have a new project that I wanted to start in like this. This feature, I'm like, I want to see how I can incorporate. I don't do this often. To overlay images, it's really slick. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Like the whole maximalist uh, vibe, mm-hmm. like <laughs> these days, it's like, that's a cool, and you can do like crazy effects where exactly. you kind of swoosh or at, in the that background. Works. So, okay. So this is like somewhat okay. What you can also do here is play with the curve and then see what happens. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it makes it a little weird, but I kind of like here that the whites are popping. Mm-hmm. Actually, that might be hard to read with text. I'm gonna... Uh, good, good note. That's a good note. Again, we'll have a look. Is this okay? I think that's is okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, and something that I forgot to do, actually, is to change the name. Mm, okay. Because I didn't notice when I exported everything mm-hmm. after, if like those that I forgot to change the name... Uh, it still was the color name of the uh, it's of a, the so pre- yeah. of, of the previous one. So I'm like, oh, this is this is interesting that it remembers mm. that. Um, like, the software is so intelligent; yeah. it's crazy, so smart. It's crazy, so sure. smart. Okay, so here let's bring it back. I'm being mindful that time goes by so fast. It's insane. I know. I literally just looked at the time and I'm like, wait. <laughs> Y'all, we are moving in this stream. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat um, that you want Izzy to answer. Um, and just make sure you just keep the conversation going. I think everyone's talking about InDesign and other, <laughs> nice. um, other aspects of it. But yeah, if you have any questions, just drop it in the chat. I'm curious to know for um, people that are watching right now or in the chat, um, have you used Adobe Firefly in the Generate Fill and what have you used it for? Mm, That is a good question. So what have y'all used Adobe Firefly for? Um, I I think I mentioned before, I've used it for um, my my mood board. So I just really like, I take inspiration. I need to, I'm a visual learner, so I need to see things and then I can once I see something, I'm like, oh, my mind starts to go crazy on what I can do. Um, and so I usually find inspiration from, you know, if I go on a walk or I look outside or something, an experience that happens. But what I really like is that with with Firefly, I can just type in a few words and just play around and see, okay, what is it going to come up with? And maybe it'll bring mm-hmm. up an image that I'm like, oh, you know what? I didn't really think that, if, let's say if I want to do a shoot with flowers and I type in mm-hmm, mm-hmm. flowers on person with you know whatever I want to write and then they're showing me all these different ways I can incorporate flowers I'm like you know what I want to incorporate flowers this way in my shoot um and that's you know save the photo put it on my mood board now you create a whole just based off of words and what you're looking for it really will create a whole concept for you which I really love and it adds to the whole creative process so what do y'all use it for that I, that was a little winded but <laughs> what do y'all use firefly for so here, um, basically, I want to just have the sentences on its own, and I want to like play with them as if they were its own moving object, but I don't want to lose the ability mm-hmm. to edit them if needed. Let's mm-hmm. say I have an editor, and they're like, hey, they're, it's full of typos, which is mm-hmm. most likely to happen with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go at the end of your sentence, just hit uh, enter, and then your full text actually goes into the next uh, box. Like if, if I mm-hmm. click here at the, like the, so I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to zoom here. Um, you can see that there's like a little plus. So mm-hmm. if you click here, then you're the rest of the text. Got and it. it still has the same um, like editing, like properties. Mm-hmm. Like I put my text to eight points, so it still has that. So just for now, I'm going to undo that. And then I want to make sure that the text box is super snug. So mm-hmm. I don't have like big spaces and design. Sometimes I get design files from uh, people and it's like, I don't know what I'm clicking and everything else is kind of moving because mm-hmm. it's not snug. You can just go here. I actually want you to see, you can go here on that um, middle like anchor, mm-hmm. double click. Okay, because it has this. Okay, if I go here, double click. And then it's it brings it back okay. at the right, and then you can just adjust, like, like adjust it. Mm-hmm. But in for this, I want to make sure that it's the same 
width as the column. Yes. Like I want, I want it to touch that. And then I'm gonna do the same for the rest of. Oops. The sentences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like a long po pause. <laughs> I think we even have some people putting in the chat, you know, what they've used Firefly for. So let me see. Oh, one person said, I haven't used Firefly yet, but I will after seeing this. Uh, love it. Yay. You'll have so much more fun. Somebody else said, warning, it's addictive. Yeah, it definitely is. <laughs> um, it is. Another comment. I've been using Firefly and Jennifer Generate Fill um, for making expressive art pieces. I am enjoying the creative process of combining Firefly and Photoshop. I love that. Yes, it's great. Just like what we have like done today. And you could mm -hmm. even um, take um, like a white canvas in Photoshop beta and just start mm -hmm. and adding your prompts directly there too. Yeah. Um, I actually create my own mockups like that to present mm -hmm. uh, client work. Like I've created a wall uh, to have like a, um, like a, uh, uh, how do you call that? A venal? Mm -hmm. I use that. Uh, I did it for like, just for fun. I wanted to try, but like a, a moisturizer cream. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so there's a lot that you can, that yes. you can do. Yes. Somebody else said, I use it for mood boards, concept art, and some photo edits and fixes. Um, another person, I've only really used it for messing around to see what I can create. It's definitely addictive. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Definitely is. Absolutely is. Okay, so now we have our four sentences here. This is kind of like tedious work to mm -hmm. like just kind of figure it out and just like break everything down. But here's a page that um, I don't know if this is too equal. Like I, I really don't want to have any symmetry because there's mm. there's no. I mean, there, there is symmetry, but it's like hidden symmetry almost. Like this is a line and this is a line. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it from a whole and you read it, you kind of don't see the symmetry, if that yeah. makes sense. No, of course. So that's the look that I'm trying to achieve. Of course. And we actually Perfect. have another question. Y'all are active in the chat. That is what I love to see. Um, <laughs> we have one question that says, when using generative fill and um, and you click on keep, what happens? Oh my! To, I hold don't, on. Yeah. Oh no. What? Oh, I thought I saw something. I thought I saw like a spinning wheel. Never mind. Oh I no no get, no! I always freak out. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> All good. Hey, everything can happen on the yeah. live. You know what? Let's let's do let's the keep see. button. Yeah. Because I usually just merge my layers. Mm -hmm. So let's do a generate fill and we'll say uh, add more. <laughs> <laughs> do a little shimmy Don't dance. Dance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is okay. That? That's like a, a funky, I think, per <laughs> person, but let's just move. Okay. It didn't like the add more. So no. let's let's try that again. So uh, <laughs> complete uh, garden background. Background. I'll take a sip of water. <laughs> Right, let's see okay oh it created kind of this is a coconut yeah, it's like so. added tropical vibes in here yep <laughs> <laughs> okay hold on oh i mean i don't hate that yeah oh that's oh. like okay so i like this okay where's the keep i don't I said, this is great. Mm -hmm. If if you know where is the keep option yes. in the chat, please let us know. Yes, please let us know. Yeah, because yeah. I don't I don't know. 
So we can come back to that if anybody, and I'll look out on the chat to see. We're still learning. This is very new technology. Yes. So yes, it's good to explore and it's good to have uh, like people prompting us like this. Mm -hmm. It's like any software, really. When you, it really uh, is. yeah, mm -hmm. like I would say, I use Illustrator every day for everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I still am learning from oh, yeah. like there's, people. There's just so much to to really even learn. Excuse me. Let's see. We have an active chat. Um. One question said, I haven't used Firefly, and I know you said it earlier that you like to create food pictures with it, but what is your opinion on the use of it to generate pictures of people? So it is still a little bit um, iffy. I mm -hmm. think you need to be really um, tedious in your description. Yep. I pers personally don't like to use people for now, mm -hmm. um, and I didn't have to use it either mm -hmm. so um yeah it it creates some funny creatures <laughs> yes it, it it definitely does uh so i i've i think for me i've i've searched for, especially because when i'm thinking of things for portraits i'm uh, and mm. when i'm looking for things for for mood boards i'm using for inspiration not just for concepts for maybe set design but also concepts that including my subject so sometimes I might type in, you know, flower hat on person or on a man, on a woman, and then it'll generate kind of, you know, different images of people. <laughs> um, so it, it, it's still, it's still trying to, I, I haven't used it too much, but I'm trying to play around to see if I can get anything, but really I'm just, I'm not really doing it for the person. I'm doing it for the idea or concept that I have that the person might be, um, you know, Helping yeah, the, to bring a life, you know, the essence of the essence. that person's, yeah, exactly. and not necessarily for, and you can't even like use it for final. No, you can't use like, it. Yeah, anyway, you, you can't use, exactly, you can't use it for anything. So it's mm -hmm. like I might generate the image just so I can get an idea. Now in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm seeing this cartoon looking like person, but I'm replacing them with who I have in mind for the shoot, and that's why it goes on my mood board. At the end of the day, it's just more so for inspiration than it is for anything else. That's it. Mm -hmm. Inspo is the word of the day. <laughs> really is. When I start to sing, that means I'm really comfortable. So. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you're comfortable. <laughs> That's like when I'm in my own Izzy bubble and my own little world. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of unicorns in there. So. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay. And we are moving through. Keep dropping your questions in the chat, y'all. And I believe we are well past the halfway point. But if you mm -hmm. have anyone that you would like to nominate for uh, Adobe Live to be a guest, whether that be yourself or someone else, please send in your submissions as far as recommendations. Um, there usually is a tab. I don't know if I see it, so I don't know if it's going to come up. But it doesn't you can just drop the names in the chat. We'll make note in case you have anybody you want to recommend for Adobe Live. So there you go. I'm going to do my other page. Like you I would need two more pages to finish the full verse. Mm -hmm. This is a little tricky and that's because we have um, put like a lot of white in that mm -hmm. uh, image with the monotone. Actually, we can go back and fix it. Oh, okay. Very true. Because we're having a bit of, um, if I go back, hold on here. If I zoom in, it's tough to read. Mm -hmm. There's yeah, like too text, much. Yeah. yeah, there's too much texture mm -hmm. happening. But here it's not bad because I zoomed in on a on a section that had less texture. But mm -hmm. I still want to, you know, have more flexibility with yes. it. So I go back to image mode, duotone. Then I click on the uh like line curve mm -hmm. and maybe i can just kind of that actually adds contrast i want less con there you go i need to do this and i feel like 
This green needs to be a little more blue. Yeah. There you go. Save. And what I like about linking stuff in InDesign is that if you go into your link panel, you will see a little triangle here and mm -hmm. then you just click on it and everything updates on its own. This oh, to me is magic, that. magic. That, oh my goodness. We love, we love tools that keep, that um, save us time. I love yes. that. Oh my goodness. It's, it's great. It's like <laughs> one of my clients once that this was when I started working um, freelance mm -hmm. and uh, asked for my working files and it was not in the scope. So I said, no, but regardless, I'm like, everything is intertwined. Yep, you, exactly. like, it's like, cause I usually bring it for mock-ups. I usually bring in um, illustrator canvas that I link mm -hmm. in Photoshop for the mock-up that I link back then in, in design. design yep. so it's like the trifecta of everything. <laughs> Actually, there was an excellent stream yesterday from my buddy Kaz, who mm -hmm. did exactly that and built this amazing uh, branding identity. So I would check that out if you're yes. curious on elevating your uh, workflow with like linking everything. And yep. so, okay, see, this is, this is, this is looking good. Yeah. Much easier to read. Yeah. What do we think? Yes. Any thoughts? How, what are y'all, how are y'all feeling the, the book <laughs> thus far? But what are your thoughts? Any comments, questions? Oh, Kaz is in the, is in the comment <gasps> box right oh, now. Kaz. Watch it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Here. So I started this like to be kind of, you know, at the end of a book, there's always kind of that mm -hmm. last page. I have a book here, which is like convenience called the secret lives of color which I, I did um, get some inspiration from. Um, but you know that last page here, it's like just a one, it's a floater. Mm -hmm. Here I have a white background, but um, if I do this, and I I want all of the first like, color from each chapter to mm -hmm. reside on this last page. Yo, so I I'm just like, like, bring that. Bringing that into, mm -hmm. into all of this, love it. And what is fun too, is like, once you have your design, because you want to create consistency, you can just take the design, copy, paste it, create your pages. Mm. <laughs> and if you go here, like in your pages panel, this is all your pages. You make sure that you, it's like after the page that you want, you can just do plus almost like layers in Photoshop and then paste your Oh, perfect. Like, and then it's like fast, fast. There you go. So now it's not the right color hues. I'm gonna go back here, which is, I love Chartreuse. Mm -hmm. um, Chartreuse green is kind of weird and it's really light, like lime-ish, mm. neon-ish. Um, but Chartreuse is a, is a liquor that has a very specific taste. Um, not a lot of people like it, but I love it. <laughs> I don't think I've had it. So here I have this specific paragraph style for like the hues. Oh, and actually, as you can see, this probably moved because it's not in my grid properly. Okay. So what I can do here, once I like the final look of everything, and because I have a few pages Mm -hmm. And it works well with the overall design. I'm like, okay, this I know is going to be a rip. Like, I'm going to repeat it. I can highlight all of this. I can go into my paragraphs. I added it here, but it's probably in your window mm -hmm. folder. You click on plus. You'll see paragraph style that is kind of popping. <clears throat> you give it a name. Here will be hues all caps and it already has like if you go to basic character format like all like your font family your choice like mm. the font style the size and everything your uh, your letting click ok and then when you go here which I the, the text is in white so you can't see it mm -hmm. but if I click on my paragraph style here oh it didn't do the color properly and it did not do the 
style prop. Okay, hold on. Let's start again. Hmm. It's not working. <laughs> oh. It usually works. It's probably because I know why. It's because I copied it from here and it already has a style. But oh. if you were to copy it from like a note, a note mm -hmm. or um, like a like a Google Doc or something like that, mm -hmm. it would apply the style. It would apply the style to mm -hmm. it. This is nine. Oh, and I forgot to look at the letting. 17. Oh, it's already 17. Perfect. Now what I do is I just add some comma. It's a lot of small little details. Whenever yeah. you're you're doing a book, it's uh all like finicky stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it takes a lot of patience. No, it definitely but does. The final results is so fun. Oh, here we have green. I actually don't want the word green. I just want olive, mint. Oops. And then what we will do is just copy paste everything. Copy paste, yeah. I really love this component of the book. I just really love how you brought together all the color, like the different shades of of this color. Color Thank is just you. so phenomenal. I love color in general. And there's, the hues, there's just so much to it. So much. It just like populates the... There you go. And it is also not a line. So if we do a view, like a, a W mm -hmm. to see the preview, looks like this i really like perfect. this yes that's beautiful should we go and try to do like another red house so we have like 30 why minutes? not i would love yeah? to, i would love it i would love it yes okay so let's just go back to this here and go back to the poem so in a house of red where passion ignites ooh, bold and vibrant <laughs> thrilling sight design demands a color that won't fade Red steals the show can't be disobeyed. So I did ask, um, like some pro like for the prompts to create this to have, um, like color properties of that specific mm. color. So that's why it says like it steals the show because red will like attract uh, yes. attention. Yes. Um, actually, because red will be right after green. I'm wondering if we do the orange, orange. instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Youthful, joyful, color of sun, warmth. I'm just like looking at uh, cheerful. Where is a place that has cheerful houses? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I'm putting you on the spot like <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> what does a cheerful house look like? A cheerful just... house. Mm. My mind goes straight to like my childhood and like my home, but I'm trying to think of, or like, I don't know. Could it be a realistic cottage? Mm. Realistic cottage um, with big windows. Ooh, big windows would be nice. Big windows um, uh, uh, with a lake. I was gonna say some kind of view of a beautiful backyard. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like that view. Oops. View of backyard. Um, what brings joy as a kid is seeing a large backyard outside where you can just play and have fun. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. I will say orange uh, logs, like a log, mm -hmm. log like cottage. Here you go, generate. Let's see what that. Does. Right, let's see what we get here. Dance. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, we got some images. I guess yes. We don't have the lake. No. Oh, because I didn't write oh, it. Oh yes, there's uh, no lake in you... there. Uh, LOL. <laughs> Oops. I like how you say LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I'm always like LOL. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, beautiful. This is great. Okay, but I I want more. We'll do. We'll remove view. 
of a lake. We'll just say a uh, lake with big windows. Uh, side lake. Mm -hmm. And then orange log. Oh, we'll put a plural. Like, let's see. Is it because we said orange, it's giving us like a fall vibe? Yes. There was oh, some yeah. pumpkins. Okay, so we are in art. So let's go Ooh, back into photo. photo. Yep. Yeah, and portrait. and portrait. And we might have to do ultra. ultra. <laughs> I tried mega too. Mega did not have the same results as ultra. <laughs> but this is looking yes. like close to like, yeah, this is actually, this is really good here. Mm -hmm. um, let's generate that again. I want to have a photo where we can zoom in on something that we want to remove and mm, use the generate fill to kind of it. complete, yeah, to complete yeah. The, the image. So actually this here is perfect. The rocks. the rocks. Yeah. Yep. See, it knew already what I no, wanted. It was already listened to you. Exactly. Our technology That's... already li listens to us anyway, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> perfect. So I'll go and fetch that image. here and so i go in my lasso tool i'm in photoshop beta i'm gonna just like circle and because i don't want the shadow either i'm gonna mm -hmm. make sure that this is also selected and here i will say replace with water oh okay. generate yeah do a little shimmy dance okay so i don't know what that <laughs> is <laughs> oh, it's like a water cooler. <laughs> okay, so maybe this is the time where you just do generate. Generate. Because this is actually my fault. I did not have a, a good prompt for it. There See, I just did this and it yeah. understood everything. So perfect. Yeah. Now I'm going to do it here. I just want to make sure that I'm not going to lose too much of the shadow of the house. Yes. Of the house. yes. I'll generate. Again, I'm so amazed with everything that yeah, the technology yeah, I can do. So here it actually created two, uh, is that Apex? Is that how you call that? Yes. Okay, yes. Um, as you can see here. So we can actually just go back, circle this, and again, generate. It'll probably fix it. Mm -hmm. No, I, I'm honestly, my mind is blown by the technology and just how mm -hmm. advanced it is. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, there we go. And if we, like, this is actually the first one was the best, I think. Yeah, this one's nice. Perfect. So if I go here, I actually don't mind these rocks here. I don't know what this this is yeah actually I, did, I, I didn't notice that until now <laughs> is this supposed to be like a path I don't know. maybe but it's it's in like the material of a rock so again yes. i'm just gonna generate Adios, bye. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully it's able to take that out Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. That was great. I'm just going to move that around so we can see better. I oh, just want to see. Someone said it's a boat ramp. Yes, but it was kind of weird. Yeah, it was weird. Oh, it's gone now. Sorry to it's the boat come ramp. Up. Like, <laughs> if we, and that's the thing, right? Because everything, every time you add a, a generate fill, it goes into mm -hmm. a layer. So if you are you change your mind, your work is not, mm -hmm. like it's, you can always go back. Like here, I can just like unsee this yeah. layer and this is there i mean is it it looks like a floating rock or like so, something yeah. you would like dive from <laughs> it does it looks like like literally like i'm meant to dive into that lake <laughs> that's it and it looks pretty uh cold and i mean i'm canadian so yeah like i'm not afraid of cold usually so <laughs> no, I, I don't I, it's, it's, it, it doesn't look like it. we need to be doing any diving <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The water is just for the view. <laughs> That's it. Wade said RIP to the boat ramp. <laughs> yeah. 
sorry bye sorry bye <laughs> so yes. sorry to that boat ramp but we don't we don't know you anymore <laughs> that's it that's it so i'm just gonna actually bring this here um now i need to start this over but in orange Oh, see here, like I'm technically missing the last page because I, I didn't add enough pages. Like this mm. page is supposed to be on its own, like like that. Oh, okay, makes sense. So this is something, and like also when you start your, your book, there's always like that one page that is mm -hmm. kind of floating before it goes into a full spread. Yeah. yeah. Um, it can be confusing if, you're, if you've never done this before. Um, regardless though, uh, whenever you send this to print, let's say you are, most of the time you need to separate all of your your files to it just in oh, one, and then the printer okay. puts it together. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. So if you have images like this, right, where it's, mm -hmm. it goes on the two spread, you would have to copy it. Um, actually, just go back here. And then... You would have one image on one side and then the other image on the other side like that. Mm -hmm. Like you can't tell, but when, when you separate your pages for your, your final PDF, mm -hmm. then it's okay. And you don't have like a page that has nothing on it. Got it. Okay. All little stuff that you kind of learn along the way. This is also why having passion projects like these mm -hmm. um, is important because you learn a lot and uh, you make mistakes that is not on someone's dime. Exactly. <laughs> you can afford to make the mistakes. Exactly. And probably learn to take your time yeah. to learn as well because um, let's be honest, sometimes we have crazy turnarounds and mm -hmm. and sometimes we have to say yes because no one else can do it like i remember when i was working in my nine to five job they would ask me to do video and i was like oh my goodness mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know what that's going to look like but i'll try my best and thankfully there was a lot of adobe lives that i could watch and mm -hmm. like get inspired from because <laughs> oof, it is not my, uh, I'm good at, at this. I'm good yeah. at 2D. I'm not good at moving and yeah, emotion <laughs> any kind. Yeah, exactly. Well, this, again. How this is coming together. And as we continue to make our way, our time is slowly dwindling. So sad, but if you all have any um, last questions that you want to ask Izzy, please as always, drop them in the chat. That way I can read them out, get them answered. I really appreciate all y'all for your participation today. It's been a very, very active um, group. So I love it. It's always fun when like there's people asking questions, talking in the chat, and the chat is bumping like a little party. So I love it. Yes. <laughs> I mean, that's what, why the commu Adobe community is so good and so yes. fun. Yep. So I'm just bringing that back to the same... Oops. And then it's pulled. So when I copy it, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. There you go. I feel like I need to have that separation <laughs> just mm -hmm. for my own organization. Like it's not the most cool work to look at, but mm -hmm. um, actually now I want to do this and it's actually perfect that I have five colors. Yes. So then I have use five them. columns. Exactly. And then we have two questions that just popped in the chat. See, look okay. at that. <laughs> All right. So one question from YouTube is, um, did you make the grid lines in InDesign? Yes. Um, do you want me to show you? Yes, I can, let's, let's, I can yeah, show let's, you. let's do that. Let's show how we did that. So you would go here to new, uh, file new document. I always like to work in inches for... Um, print you can use whatever you want so here I have six width that's one page that's not the two page 
because again, when you split everything, it's going to be its own page if you do need to. So you want one page. Um, then here you have a column uh, menu. So you can choose how many columns you want. I'll, I'll do six for this example. You can also choose a gutter. If you don't, like I wanted my stuff to be snug together and kind of like hugging each other. But if you don't want that and you want to have to make sure that you have some the same spacing between your stuff, you can add mm. a gutter. So mm, okay. you can choose or like um, because it's in um, inches, I think 1.25 is, is good. And then your margin. So your margin is what is around like this here. Um, just so you have kind of that mm -hmm. safe space. So um, I just, that was actually what came with it, but you can also like change that. We'll do a little, a, um, okay. like a bit smaller this time, just so you can see the difference. And also if you want, let's say you want to have like a big top and the rest is all like small around, mm -hmm. you can click this link here. Cause when, so now you see it's broken. So now mm -hmm. it means that the top can be more like yeah, have more space and then the others aren't touched if you want to have everything again that's like all the same you just click that back and they will put everything back Got it. Like, like equal but i actually want to show you i'll do it here um like 75 okay um and then your bleed i like to add bleed um again if it's going to print and want 0.25 inches is the is the go-to. So you mm -hmm. do create. Mm. And it was already checked off for facing pages. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, and I'll show you the difference with the grid, I have six grid and then I have the gutter. I don't know if we can oh, see that yes, like properly. We have the gutter in between. And see how this margin here is um, like longer than the rest mm -hmm. everywhere else. Yes. I'd say a margin like this is good um, mm -hmm. whenever you're doing like um, like uh, the, the paper headers for your clients or stuff like that, mm -hmm. or even like depending on the project, you, you can go crazy. And I mean, that's that's what's fun about it. If I go here to a, a new page, you'll see the difference. In the margin. So there is a lot that yeah. you can like you can do with it. And again, like following a guide will elevate the mm -hmm. work for because like as as humans, like we like straight like straight lines. You will mm -hmm. notice. I don't know if you're like this. Whenever I, I look at photos in yeah. in specifically um IG and the horizon line isn't it's straight. It, yeah. <laughs> anxiety <laughs> i'm like you would just just there's, exactly. <laughs> there's the perspective tool <laughs> you know sometimes i wish my life was like a full photoshop filter know. you know you have a blemish and you're like clone stamp <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's like so a, I, it's, that's like an idea for like a black mirror map episode that's that's how yes. i see it our lives as photoshop oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh i mean I mean, I would look like Kim Kardashian every yeah. day. Which, like... <laughs> Just boop, 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 boop. Exactly. Perfection. Awesome. <laughs> and we have two other questions. Um, one question was, uh, did we work with generate, um, generate a fill? Or sorry, color. If so, what are kind of prompts is it used? Did you, you, you didn't use uh, generate no. color. Perfect. No. I make sure. We weren't in the Illustrator yes. uh, today. Yes, which... we were not. It's rare that I think it's this is my first stream that I have not used Illustrator. Really? Oh, yes. Yeah. I always use Illustrator. I did use it to create the title. So if I like go back, just oh, because you, create, you created that in Illustrator. Yes. And then I just brought the vector files. This mm -hmm. I created an Illustrator. Then I like just paste it in there. Mm -hmm. But it's it's still vectors. So if I wanted to um, like have it in different colors, I could. You could do that. I could do that um but yeah <laughs> lovely and then one last question that i see here uh will this book be available to the public when completed if so where do we go to get it 
<laughs> I was not thinking it could be a, a thing, but I mean, I can definitely upload the PDF uh, to my website or even Behance <clears throat> and you can like have a look there um, if you want to read the nice poetry and, and get inspired. Yes, I think that would be great. I think you've inspired me and you <clears throat> probably have inspired a lot of us on this live today. So Yay. seeing the complete PDF would be really, really great on Behance. This is my uh, um, personal purpose to mm -hmm. inspire people. No, okay. you, you've done that today, girl. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's also why I do the uh, Ottawa Design Club. Yep. Which, actually, shameless plug, if that's okay, we mm -hmm. have one minute. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> um, we have a call for submission at the moment to be featured Ooh. in a book. So um, if you have some cool work that fits the uh, the theme, which is Renaissance right now, um, you're more than welcome to apply. We always love to see um, anything creative. And it could be uh, like video, dancing, uh, photo, like like pottery, anything. Mm -hmm. We oh, if it. if it's moving and it has to live on a server, we actually put a, a QR code. So we have ah. like an extended experience to the book, which is super fun. Oh, I love so. it. I love it. I love it. So I'm just going to finish this page. No, go ahead. We have we have about what, five, six minutes before we complete the stream today. Okay. But we can start to close in a few. Okay, perfect. You're the boss. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you got like two minutes, Izzy, and then we're okay. closing. Doing <laughs> my best. That was, my, that was my, my boss version of... <laughs> Oh, for for the um, do you, for the book, do you have or the submissions that you ask for? Do you have a URL that could be shared, or should they go yes. somewhere to find that? So if you go on the ott design club, that's where you will find um, the call for submission. Mm -hmm. um, it's like there's like call to actions everywhere for it, mm -hmm. or you can go on um, Instagram, which is at ott design club the call for submission everything is there the link is in the bio lovely yes so i actually fell in love with doing books because of the zine mm -hmm. and the zine was a pandemic project that grew into something a lot bigger than we anticipated mm. so this is uh always uh good <laughs> you know, it's 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 beautiful i love pandemic projects that just turn into you know, just they just expand in ways that we didn't that, you know, you probably didn't imagine, which is a great part about like, you know, we talked about passion projects because you just really don't know where they're going to take you. That's it. I was actually invited to sp like speak and do a workshop as a, at a conference recently, oh, wow. uh, like because of those those zines, because uh, they gain um, like worldwide attention. So mm -hmm. uh it's a, it's a great feeling. <laughs> no, it, it is. I'm sure. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course. I'm awesome. just gonna put this there because I if I want to show you the full book. Yes. And do a quick recap before we head out. Yes. We have time for that recap. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna go from the very beginning. So yes, I did take some executive decisions before. For the sake like just to go faster in mm -hmm. in this this stream so um here first page just like quick dedication to the creatives who color our world mm. <laughs> um we have the uh, disclaimer that all of the images were created in uh, ai generated tools the title we haven't touched on the um, um table of content but it will be added in the final project and this is the full layout. Beautiful. The overlay. I didn't do overlays like this today, but I mm -hmm. really like this. And, I... and on the last page, I always tried to have like this, like the, that yellow or like mm -hmm. that color repeated. Mm -hmm. um, 
that's it trying to create consistency for your like the a book is really important even mm. though you're like as you probably noticed like the blue is in different places yeah the, it was before like like yellow. here yeah um and again that's following that grid the blue poem was a little sad so um i put it like i put a condo because there's not enough room and you can mm -hmm. maybe feel like small sometimes depending if you have a penthouse mm -hmm. hey good for you <laughs> <laughs> But see, like, again, like those little details that kind of make the, like, kind of the whole integrity um, of the book. And that pink, that mm -hmm. chapter is definitely my favorite, too. It's very dreamy, vacation. Yes, I love it. Then the green. Oh, love it. Oh, <laughs> I want to live there. <laughs> I know. I want to live there, too. <laughs> this is my, this is my retirement house. <laughs> And yeah, and we worked on um, yeah, all of those images. Lovely. And I do have like quickly, I put it in a mock-up in this like presentation here. Oh yeah, just like some flat layout here. But I did some like a quick GIF for all of you so you could see what it could look like as a final yes. product. Yeah, absolutely love. Ah, Izzy, thank you so much for today. This was really, really phenomenal. Where can everybody find you? So here we talked about the Ottawa Design Club uh, earlier, but you can follow me on my business page uh, where I post all of my design work. I have to get on that. My personal page, Artie Izzy, where you're going to see a lot of cat stuff. Um, <laughs> if you like cats and obviously Behance, which you can scan the QR code here. And Lovely. you can also maybe catch me here next. Maybe I'll be yes. hosting. I'll do something else. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> you never know. Uh, yeah. Izzy, thank you so much, truly, for everything. This was such an interactive and fun live. Thank you, Wade, for dropping the OT design on uh, the website and the Instagram. Please make sure that you guys interact with Izzy everywhere. Um, and then also, as always, stay tuned for a new episode of Adobe Firefly Weekly, an interactive session using the new Adobe Firefly and generative AI features in the Creative Cloud app. So we will catch y'all next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.